These are some serious squishers right here. Look at that. Zoom in on that. You see how green that is? No, no, guys, I am not going to eat a turd, but the insect we are looking for today loves eating poop. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this on Mario. Here we go, buddy, and we're gonna keep walking. Oh, beetle's right here. Look at this. Oh, and look at the size of that ball. The vast open wilderness of South Africa is home to some of the world's most iconic animals. From small hoofstock like the speedy impala to giant grazers like the meandering elephant. Then there are the long-necked giraffes, and who could forget about the herding rhinos? These creatures are constantly doing two things on a daily basis. The first is eating. And the second, which you probably have already guessed, is pooping. But where does all this poop go? There are no toilets on the savanna to flush it down, so what happens after Dumbo drops a dump truck load of digested plants? Today we aim to answer that question by exploring the wilds of Tainskloof. Managed by the Reserve Protection Agency, this 13-hectare sanctuary just so happens to be within the range of one very unique insect that has an affinity for stinky animal byproducts. Charity, what you doing there? You guys see what I'm standing in? Yeah, it looks like uh, feces. This is a giant pile of poop. I'm gonna just go ahead and... Oh, he's touching it. You know, when in South Africa, you just roll with it. And literally today, we're gonna be looking for the thing that rolls pieces of poop, turd rollers themselves. Now, I'm guessing that this is hoofstock droppings, likely Impala and Kudu. And that right there, oh is one rock solid little turd. Now, I'm not looking for kudu or impala. I'm actually looking for the insect, one stinky little insect that loves to roll around in turds. You guys know what I'm talking about? Hmm, I don't know if I wanna know. Stay tuned. I have a feeling that if we head up this direction, we're gonna find plenty of them. Following a trail of turds through the environment is not something you would typically choose to do while out on a leisurely hike. Yet if you are aiming to have an encounter with the dung beetle, this is one of the most reliable ways to track them down. We skipped from scat pile to scat pile, examining the freshest of feces with the relentless hope of happening upon some of these poop-loving professionals. Oh man, here's another fresh pile of nuggets. Look at this. Likely Impala, it's so fresh that you can still see urine where the animal also peed. These are some serious squishers right here. Look at that. Oh yeah. Zoom in on that. You see how green that is? That is all undigestible plant matter that the animal passes through its system and then squirts out as these delicious little nuggets. Not delicious for me. No, no guys, I am not going to eat a turd, but the insect we are looking for today loves eating poop. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this on Mario. There we go, buddy. And we're gonna keep walking. The South African air was filled with fresh steamers, and that meant that those dirty little dung beetles would be hot on the turd trail. I could feel it in each and every step. Ugh, gross. And being downwind, I could smell that we were headed in the right direction. When sure enough, we rounded a corner and nearly stepped into one big steaming pile of... Oh, beetles right here. Look at this. Oh, and look at the size of that ball. Oh man, this is great. Is okay, that their, Is that their ball? That is their ball right there, right in the middle of those other turds. And we've got two dung beetles right here in front of us. Wow, well we've been searching for a while. It's pretty dry, but these guys have already made themselves a compacted ball. Now, look at that. He's inspecting the environment, finding his line of sight, and there you go, off to the races. He's gonna continue to push this giant ball of compacted turds. Now, I don't wanna interrupt this beetle because he's at work, but this one here is likely either a female or a stealer, and I'll get into that in a second, but what I wanna do is actually pick this beetle up. Come here, buddy. Wow, look at that. Its exoskeleton is incredibly rigid, and its feet are very strong. Now, I don't know if they bite. I guess we'll find out here in a second. Let me see. Do you bite? No, doesn't bite. That's good news for me. Can you see it okay? 
Whoa, it's hard to hold on to because they're so strong. I'm just gonna let it walk around in my hands here. Now there are over 6,000 dung beetle species worldwide. And the only continent that you will not find this insect is in Antarctica. Uh, this is the Addo dung beetle, which is indigenous to only this area here in South Africa. When we're talking about dung beetle species, there are several different types. This one specifically is what we would consider a roller. So a roller actually rolls turds around from one spot to the next. Then you also have the dwellers. Dwellers literally stay in one spot and live in a pile of turds. You also have the burrowers, which will roll a ball of poop somewhere and actually build a burrow underneath it. And then you have the stealers, which will steal turds from other dung beetles. I'm pretty sure that this one is both a roller and a stealer because I caught this guy trying to steal the turd that's actually rolling underneath your feet right now, Mark. Uh, yeah. I thought I smelled little, something. Uh, <laughs> causing a little traffic jam yeah. there, buddy. I was like, I got a whiff of something. I was like, where did the uh, ball go? Oh, it's right by my shoe. And you know what? That beetle will not stop for you, Mark. He is on a determined mission to get that ball of poop back to its burrow. Now when it comes to dung beetles, they're actually very specific as to what kind of turds they will eat. They primarily feast on herbivore and omnivore turds, but this species specifically, I'm guessing feeds on kudu and impala turds, but I know for a fact that they also feast on elephant dung. Now there are no elephants in this area, so like I said, the kudu and the impala turds that we saw earlier are certainly fair opportunity for having a feast. Hey Mario, is uh, turd the uh, scientific term we wanna use? Uh, turd, poop, dung, feces. Animal scat. Yes, no matter how you choose to phrase it, I like to call them turds. And these creatures, as gross as it is to say it, love to eat turds. Now, they feast on the turds. They actually will line the inside of their burrows with turds. Their whole world revolves around turds, and they prefer a fresh turd. Right now, it's pretty dry out, so we actually had some trouble finding these beetles, but we found a fresh pile of kudu scat, and sure enough, with it came some dung beetles. Super okay. cool, right? I got a fun little game. Yeah. Everybody at home should watch this video again and count how many times you say the word turd. You know, I have said the word turd more times today and more so in this episode than ever before. I've touched turds today. We've got beetles eating turds. We've got beetles rolling turds. It is certainly a turd sandwich of an episode. <laughs> turd, turds, 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 no poop breath on this guy. Now what's really fascinating about these insects is that while they may seem like simple creatures that are simply eating poop, they're very much in tune with the environment. They're actually using UV rays from the sun to help them navigate. Now at night, when there isn't any sun out, scientists believe that they use these stars to navigate the environment as they're aiming to push their turd ball back to their burrow. And this one that we have just here off to our side here that's just continuously pushing its turd down this trail is completely on a straight line. It will do everything it can to stay on course and make sure that that turd ball gets back to its burrow. Speaking of the turd ball, how about we get back to the turd ball? Yeah, let's check this out. I'm gonna bring this little beetle back over here. Oh, Watch out, Mark, the big, the big turd ball's right here. Now, the, the beetle will come back and find this. I'm gonna actually pick it up for a second. Look at that. Wow, whoa, it is heavy. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. That is a compacted ball of herbivore Ooh, poop Ooh, it's right kinda there. wet. It's heavy, right? Well, the more moist the poop is, the better it is for the beetles. Now watch what's gonna happen. As soon as the beetle picks back up the scent of this turd, they have an incredible sense of smell. He's gonna climb back up on top of it, spin around in a circle, regain its line of sight, and then plop back down and use its hind legs to push the turd. Here we go. Just like I said, watch this. Climbs up on top. Here we go. Do your spin. Line of sight is acquired, and boom, off to the races. Now, pound for pound, this is one of the strongest insect species in the world, capable of pushing things almost a thousand times their own body weight. That's like me, weighing 150 pounds, pushing six eight-ton buses. Isn't that crazy? That is one powerful creature. Now look, it's, it's on this hillside, and it's thinking, I'm not gonna get up that. But it will just keep moving along the edge of this ridge until it finds its way back to its burrow. 
Well, this is pretty fascinating. Searching amongst the South African terrain for turds that ultimately led us to the one and only dung beetle. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. When I think back on all of the strange bugs the Brave Wilderness team and I have encountered, I would definitely have to say that the dung beetle was one of the most entertaining. These little environmental cleanup crews are doing a world of good for the ecosystem, and without them, the world would literally be covered in animal scat, or feces, or poop, or turds, as I like to call them. So on behalf of us all, I would like to say thank you to all the dung beetles out there that are helping keep our planet free of poopies. Keep up the good work, guys. We see you rolling. Wait, don't go anywhere. Brave Wilderness has a brand new store with a wave of adventurous new designs, including a limited edition dung beetle, They See Me Rolling t-shirt. Hey, Coyote Pack. I have some exciting news. I am proud to announce that the crew and I are headed back on tour with Brave Wilderness Live. Our next shows take place in the Midwest. Tickets can be purchased at the Brave Wilderness website and these shows are certain to sell out. So make sure that you reserve your seats today. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure. I'm